Melechim Shani, 2 Kings 17. In the twelfth year of Ahaz, king of Yahuda, began Husha, the son of Elah, to reign in Shomoron over Yashadael nine years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahuwah, but not as the kings of Yashadael that were before him. Against him came up Shalam, rather, Shalman Eser, king of Ashur, and Husha became his servant and gave him presents. And the king of Ashur found conspiracy in Husha, for he had sent messengers to so king of Mitzrayim and brought no present to the king of Ashur as he had done year by year. Therefore the king of Ashur shut him up and bound him in prison. Then the king of Ashur came up throughout all the land and went up to Shomoron and besieged it three years. In the ninth year of Husha, the king of Ashur took Eth Shomoron and carried Eth Yashadael away into Asherah and placed them in Chalach and in Chavor by the river of Gozan and in the cities of Madai. For so it was that the children of Yashadael had sinned against Yahuwah Elohehem, which had brought them up out of the land of Mitzrayim from under the hand of Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, and had feared other Elohim, and walked in the statutes of the heathen, whom Yahuwah cast out from before the children of Yashadael, and of the kings of Yashadael, which they had made. And the children of Yashadael did secretly those things that were not right against Yahuwah Eloheham, and they built them high places in all their cities, from the tower of Natsarim to the fenced city. And they set them up images and Asherah poles in every high hill and under every green tree. And there they burnt incense in all the high places, as did the heathen whom Yahuwah carried away before them, and wrought wicked things to provoke at Yahuwah to anger, for they served idols, whereof Yahuwah had said unto them, Ye shall not do at this thing. Yet Yahuwah testified against Yashadael and against Yahuda by all the prophets and by all the seers, saying, Turn ye from your evil ways, and guard my commandments and my statutes according to all the Torah which I commanded at your fathers, and which I sent to you by my servants, the prophets. Notwithstanding, they would not hear, but hardened at their necks, like to the neck of their fathers that did not believe in Yahuwah Elohehem. And they rejected at his statutes and at his covenant that he cut with at their fathers and at his testimonies, which he testified against them. And they followed vanity and became vain and went after the heathen that were round about them, concerning whom Yahuwah had charged them, that they should not do like them. And they left at all the commandments of Yahuwah Elohehem, and made them molten images, even two calves, and made an Asherah pole, and worshipped all the hosts of heaven, and served at Baal. And they caused at their sons and at their daughters to pass through the fire, and used divination and enchantments, and sold themselves to do evil in the sight of Yahuwah, to provoke him to anger. Therefore Yahuwah was very angry with Yashadael, and removed them out of his sight. There was none left but the tribe of Yahuda only, and Yahuda did not guard at the commandments of Yahuwah Elohehem, but walked in the statutes of Yashadael, which they made. 
and Yahuwah rejected all the seed of Yashadael, and afflicted them, and delivered them into the hand of spoilers, until he had cast them out of his sight. For he rent Yashadael from the house of David, and they made at Yaravam the son of Nivat king. And Yaravam drove at Yashadael from following Yahuwah, and made them sin a great sin. For the children of Yashadael walked in all the sins of Yaravam, which he did. They departed not from them, until Yahuwah removed at Yashadael out of his sight, as he had said by all his servants the prophets. So was Yashadael carried away out of their own land to Asherah unto this day. And the king of Ashur brought men from Bebel, and from Kutha, and from Ava, and from Hamath, and from Sepharaim, and placed them in the cities of Shomoron, instead of the children of Yashadael. And they possessed Eth Shomoron, and dwelt in the cities thereof. And so it was at the beginning of their dwelling there, that they feared not Eth Yahuwah. Therefore Yahuwah sent Eth lions among them, which slew some of them. Wherefore they spoke to the king of Ashur, saying, The nations which you have removed and placed in the cities of Shomoron know not Eth the manner of the Elohim of the land. Therefore he has sent Eth lions among them, and behold, they slay them, because they know not at the manner of the Elohim of the land. Then the king of Ashur commanded, saying, Carry thither one of the priests whom ye brought from thence, and let them go and dwell there, and let him teach them at the manner of the Elohim of the land. Then one of the priests whom they had carried away from Shomoron came and dwelt in Beatel, and taught them how they should fear at Yahuwah. Howbeit every nation made Elohim of their own, and put them in the houses of the high places which the Shomoraim had made, every nation in their cities wherein they dwelt. And the men of Bebel made Eth Kukoth Banoth, and the men of Kuth made Eth Nigral, and the men of Hamath made Eth Ashima, and the Avim made Nivchaz and Eth Tartach, rather Eth Tartach, and the Sepharim, rather Sepharvim, burnt Eth their children in the fire to Adramelech and Anamelech, the Elohim of Sepharvarim. So they feared at Yahuwah, and made unto themselves of the lowest of them priests of the high places, which sacrificed for them in the houses of the high places. They feared at Yahuwah, and served at their own Elohim, after the manner of the nations whom they carried away from thence. Unto this day they do after the former manners. They fear not at Yahuwah, neither do they after their statutes, or after their ordinances, or after the Torah and commandment which Yahuwah commanded at the children of Yaakov, whom he named Yashadael, with whom Yahuwah had cut a covenant and charged them, saying, Ye shall not fear other Elohim, nor bow yourselves to them, nor serve them, nor sacrifice to them. But Eth Yahuwah, who brought you up out of the land of Mitzrayim, with great power and a stretched out arm, him shall ye fear, and him shall ye worship, and to him shall ye do sacrifice. 
and the statutes and the ordinances and the Torah and the commandment which he wrote for you, ye shall guard to do forevermore. And ye shall not fear other Elohim. And the covenant that I have cut with you, ye shall not forget. Neither shall ye fear other Elohim. But, Yahuwah Elohechem, ye shall fear. And he shall deliver you out of the hand of your enemies. Howbeit, they did not hearken, but they did after their former manner. So these nations feared at Yahuwah and served at their graven images, both their children and their children's children, as did their fathers. So do they unto this day.